It's Q&A time, yay! Because I'm unoriginal and boring. Have you ever dreamed about rubbing butter all over your chest? I mean, let's be honest, who hasn't had that dream? Like, literally, put butter all over my chest, put me in a frying pan, and fry me up. Fry the faggot. There's a new cooking show, Fry the Faggot. Yes, me it. Are you planning on any videos with people soon, and are you going to any events? Yes, I've got loads of things coming up, guys. I'm not gonna give too much away. Like, I'm gonna try and plan on doing, like, another one of those gay YouTuber videos, and all of us get together and make another one. I've been in the making of that right now. Um, I'm going to be at Summer in the City, so make sure if you are at Summer in the City, come and say hello to me. Let's take lots of photos and look fabulous. And yet me it. Unfortunately, like, I wasn't invited to PrideCon, so I can't go to PrideCon. And VidCon, I can't really afford to go to America. So, oh, I'll be at Gay Pride as well. So I'll be at Gay Pride in London, which is exciting. Biggest regret in life? God, that is a hard question. I would say, although this is something that I can't really change, and I couldn't change back then anyway, but I wish I was more confident in school. You know, I was very, very self-conscious and very sort of, like, scared to be myself in school. And, you know, I hated who I was. Although that couldn't be helped, I really wish I was more confident and just like, when people called me gay and like faggot and all that kind of stuff, I'd have been like, I know, and I love it. Now what, bitch? What would you order in McDonald's? KFC. Should you come out at school if you know you're going to get bullied? If you really want to, come out, but as long as you're confident, you have to be confident. Don't come out if you're really scared because, you know, the bullies will be able to sense fear. They will, they will pick up that you're insecure and they will attack you because of it. If you want to come out, come out, but make sure that you are proud and you are happy to be who you are. Be confident and show the people that you don't care what they think about you. When are the Naybit shirts coming back? If you want me and Jamie to redo the Naybit shirts, please let me know and we can sort of like recirculate them for anyone who does want a Naybit t-shirt. Please let me know down below. What's your scariest moment been since moving? moving to London. Probably moving in here actually, like it was an amazing thing that I did and I'm so glad that I've done it, but that first initial step of actually like having to really support myself in every way, that was terrifying. On average, how many times do you shart in a day? Seven, eight times? Mark, I think we have to get to the stage where we don't have the same lives. And unlike you, I can control my bowel movements. I'm sorry, you're doubly incontinent, I know, but don't take it out on me. Are you happy Ukraine won Eurovision? Okay, so I had a mixed view on this because I so wanted Australia to win. I was so upset when Ukraine did win. After the sort of like drunk sort of blindness of like, I wasn't Australia. Actually, I really liked Ukraine's song. I love the meat, like the message and everything. Like it is a really good song. So I'm really happy that that won as well. Like I'd rather that win than like Russia or something. So if there was a movie made about you, what would it be called? Shit. If you could invent a new drink, what would it be? I would invent Kool-Aid that does not give you some sort of weird disease because of all the sugar. I want to drink it, but I don't want to get cancer. Would you rather have two faces for ass cheeks or an ass cheek for a face? I would rather have two faces for an ass cheek and then I could like kiss my ass and then people can literally make out with my ass. Would you rather have the power to be invisible or read minds? I feel like being invisible would probably be a lot more helpful. Like you could like scare people and pretend to be like a ghost. People annoy you, so you go invisible and you sort of follow them and then like you sort of push things over in front of them and like ha! That'd be fun. Maybe illegal, but that'd be fun. Why are you always so on fleek? You've never seen me first thing in the morning. You don't want to say that to me. Would you rather have to live without YouTube or KFC? I literally hate you for asking me this question. That is disturbing. I am feeling very vulnerable right now. I need some space. <laughs> Do you have any tips on accepting your gender, specifically gender fluid? Like a motto I live by in my life is stop caring and start living. Like seriously, the less you care about what people think about you, the more fun and the more like freedom you'll have. It is your life and you are the only one that has to live it and you are the only person that you need to impress. If people don't like you for you, get them out of your life. They are not worth it. Never change anything about yourself to please any other person because you will regret it. You will get old, you will look back and think, I wish I didn't care. I wish I didn't do that. I wish I didn't do that because I was not myself. If you got caught stealing one thing, what would it be? The KFC recipe. When you were little, what did you want to do when you grew up? And do you still want it in any way? Oh my God, okay, so I've never actually told anyone this, but I used to want to be a tap dancer. I was obsessed and I still think I kind of am a little bit sort of the back of my mind with river dance. I've always been obsessed with river dance and I love it so much. To date, what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh my god, okay. One of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me, like, in my life, though, is when I was back in school, I had to go to the doctor because I had, like, a mole on my chest I was getting, like, removed. So, I was waiting in the doctor's waiting room, and I always sit, whenever I sit down, I sit with my legs up, like, crossed over, and as I went to get up because they called my number out, my leg got caught around the strap of my bag. So I went to stand up, and as I went to put my foot down, it got caught in the strap, so I just fell right to the ground, smack on the ground, like, on the, my face. 
everyone in the rating room just burst out laughing, like laughing at me, and I was like, I just want to die. Even the woman behind the counter, bitch, she was there laughing at me. I was like, right, bitch. I, ugh, I can't, I know, no, I can't even, I'm dwelling on it too much and it upsets me. Are you still in touch with your friends back home? Now, this is a really tricky one because I think no matter what you do in your life, you always say to people, let's keep in contact, let's keep in touch. But when you move away, you get into a new circle of friends and it's not because you don't like them anymore. I'm in a different stage of my life now and we've all gone a separate ways. Like most of the people I was friends with back in Devon have kids now, they all have families and all that kind of stuff and that's not something that I was ever going to do. We're just not really connected in the way we were. It is sad but it's also like, I'm okay with it, like, that's how life goes and sometimes you're not friends with the people you're always friends with in school, like. I'm thinking of starting a YouTube channel, any advice for beginners? Now this is a cliche, but just be yourself. The amount of people that will see what other people are doing and just try to copy and imitate and mimic that, it's so transparent, it's so see-through. Just be yourself. We've already got Tyler Oakley, we've already got, you know, a Jerry Gossett, like, we've already got these people, like, I want my channel to be unique and different than everyone else's, like, I don't want to just do the same kind of editing, I don't want to do the same kind of, like, things as everyone else is doing. Yeah, we all do challenge videos, because that's a bit fun to do with our friends, but don't literally imitate and mimic other YouTubers because it is transparent and it's see-through. Like, if there's one movie you had to watch every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hocus Pocus! Ho oh, oh, Thank you, Max, for that marvelous introduction. I put a spell on you. Come home! Hoc it literally does things to me. That film does things to my soul. If people disagree with that, I will come for you. Okay guys, thank you for all your questions. Please hit the like button because that does really help me out and I will see you all very soon. Bye! It's Q&A time, it's back again. Uh, this song is shit. The I show mean, is starting, is everyone excited? So yeah! yeah. 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 This fly is too gay for my liking, but we're gonna roll with it. Two hours later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.